Since it's learning is new to Mount Perrin, I thought maybe it would be helpful for you to have a little video tutorial on actually how to get around within the website. First of all, once you've logged in, I'd like you to notice your name should be in the upper right hand corner. This is where you go when you're finished and want to sign out or possibly to see who else is online. As a student, that might be helpful. You can see if one of your friends is online and maybe you can ask a question or, or work with them appropriately, of course. Right now, I'm on my home screen. I can see that because my home is, is the dark section and I can see on this home screen everything from all of my classes put together into one place. Right here, I have a green task box. Tasks are where you find your homework. Tasks, in your mind, should equal homework. Now this might seem a little overwhelming, but let's just take a deep breath and look at it one step at a time. First of all, I have an overdue assignment for my New Testament studies, my 10th grade Bible class. Just because it says overdue does not mean I didn't turn it in. All it means is it was listed as a task and I didn't mark it off. Just like an agenda, you would draw a line through it to show it's complete. Here, all I have to do when I've completed a task is click and it's hidden. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now I can look at my list of assignments. Some of these, this puts everything for one week, but I can look through and say, oh, one hour this was due today or Monday. This was due to today or Monday. This was, oh, my syllabus analysis was also due today. But down here, my geometry homework, well, that's due in 15 hours. Or my A day or B day due date. My Spanish workbook page is due on Tuesday. If I want more information on this, I can open an assignment and see. What exactly was I supposed to do for my syllabus analysis? Well, if I open the assignment by clicking on it, I can see that I'm to read and evaluate the syllabus and generate five questions related to the syllabus content. This is due at the start of my A2 block on Monday the 25th today. I could go back to my dashboard and if I've completed that assignment, again, to make sure and make myself less stressful, I can click there. I've done that one. I've done that one. I've completed that assignment. And I've also completed that assignment. Now, if you noticed, because I opened the assignment, I went directly into my course page. Notice my home page. I can get all of my information about Mount Perrin, maybe any announcements within Mount Perrin that I need to know. But let's say I want to see specifically what's going on in one of my classes. I'm going to pick the course tab at the top. And now I missed Friday's class. I want to see what I missed in my chemistry class. I'm going to open that class up specifically. Once I'm actually within a class, I have a class dashboard. I have bulletins or announcements specific to that class. I have tasks or homework specifically for that. Homework due by next class period. I'm going to open that up and see exactly what my homework assignment was. That's where I can get more information. I can see what I was supposed to do, what I was supposed to read, answer questions and study for a quiz. I'm going to click answer and right here I can either upload a file. Maybe I've chosen to type my answers in a Word document. I'm going to browse and look for the document and when I find it I'm now going to save it. There are my answers. If I don't want to type in a Word document Maybe I want to actually type my answers right in here. Here are the answers to the homework questions. I can look back up here to see what they were. Oh, question 39. And I can type. When I'm finished, I can just say submit. 
That way I don't have to worry about losing a paper. It's gone directly to my teacher. My teacher can open it up and grade it. Or maybe my teacher actually wants me to hand them a piece of paper. So I've got three options right here that I could use to complete this one assignment. Obviously, I must remember to press submit or else my answers don't go there. Since I really don't want to turn this in, I'm going to say cancel and leave this page. Back on my course dashboard, I can possibly just, I've done it. I've turned it in. Um, normally, if I submit it online, it will actually go away for me. Since I'm going to turn it in in person, I'm just going to click it to hide it. Right here, I can see that I've got a test in chemistry tomorrow. Tuesday, the 26th of August, over all chapter one and two information. Hmm. Well, do you know, I missed class one day last week. Maybe I need to see what I missed during that day. I can go over here to the planner or here and open my teacher's lesson plans. Right now, it shows me all of the upcoming lesson plans. I might not see them. I might be able to look here and say, oh, there are the lesson plans for the next two days in class and open them up. And it tells me some information. But since I missed a class last week, I need to go to all past lesson plans. Right here, I know that my test is over chapter one and chapter two information. So those are the lesson plans that I'm going to open up. Right here, I can see the date it was taught. I can see what was taught in class. Here are some handouts that the teacher handed out that I can go home and download in case I lost or if I left my binder at school. I can see all of my homework assignments right here. I know chapter two, I didn't get this PowerPoint in class, so I'm going to open it up and look at it so I can study. When I get this bar, it tells me I have to click here to download it. Depending upon which web browser you're using, you're going to download an attachment in a different way. Right now, I'm on Internet Explorer, so I would press open here. If I were using Google Chrome, I would have a message right here. If I'm using Safari, there'll be a little download arrow in the corner. You just have to learn to see which web browser you choose and where it would download. I do want to open this PowerPoint and look at it. Again, maybe I left my binder at home. I can look through here and see all of the notes that were given in class. I could choose to print it out if I want to, but you know what, I don't even have to do that. This is something that I could open up on my phone and look at as I'm walking from place to place or sitting waiting for something. I can take it anywhere I want. I don't have to waste paper and download it. Or again, maybe I do want to take it with me. Some other things that you might notice up here, the link to Net Classroom is right here. That's where you can go if you have, if you'd like to see your grades. When I click on Net Classroom, I have to log in using the same username and password that I used to log into It's Learning. That's where I can check on all my grades. I also might want to go to the calendar. This is pretty neat also. It takes information from all of your classes and all of your teachers and puts it into one place. I can look at my information in list form. I can look at my information in the calendar by day, by week, by month. Eventually your teachers will start adding to this. I also can add to this on my own and maybe I know that the 27th, this is going in my personal calendar and I'm going to say mom's birthday and save. Oh, I guess I should probably make sure that my end date is the same as my beginning date. That would help. And now press save. And here in my calendar, I can see that there's something personal, something belonging to me, and I can open it up and see. Not only can I see a planner from here, I mean a calendar from here, but I can also look at all of my teacher's lesson plans 
in one spot. Notice I can open them all up. I can open one up at a time. And again, I can select to see last week's. I can see this week's. I can go all the way back. I could pick a date and say, I know that I was absent on the 19th. Let me see what happened in each of my cl classes on that day. And I can go in and see, oh, I was supposed to prepare for a quiz. Here's this in my, my Bible class. On the 19th, here was seminar five notes, an activity I was supposed to complete. This will help me be more successful in the classroom by being better organized. One last thing. If you log on to It's Learning at school or on a computer that's not yours, please always remember to sign out. That's really important as we have some assignments that can be completed online. If you leave your um, It's Learning account open, someone else might be able to do that for you, and I don't think you really want that. I hope that this helps some, and there will be additional videos in the future, but good luck.